This is what the once clean waters of the Nairobi River have been reduced to as business premises continue to release effluent into the river. These business premises, including the famous Kia Michael Slaughter, now risking closure for failure to adhere to the set environmental standards. Water and Sanitation Cabinet Secretary Simon Chelugui now warning that the government will crack the whip on individuals and entities polluting Nairobi River. There are over 1,404 pollutants in Nairobi, people who have been identified to be discharging effluent. We will be enforcing to the letter all the regulation and any pollutant is expected to pay for the pollution and restoration of the river. Speaking during the launch of the Dam Task Force final report in Non-Revenue Waste Management Annual Report, Chilugui said the government has put in place measures to ensure those polluting the country's water bodies are dealt with. Pollution, open effluent and defecation, discharge of waste, industrial and human from our settlement areas, informal and formal and industrial, needs to stop now. Needs to stop now. And this will be so painful because industries will close and estates will be displaced. Because when we have heavy deposits of metals like manganese, lead, mercury on our rivers, is actually we are slowly killing our people. The Water Cabinet Secretary at the same time announced the government has earmarked the construction of 57 dams across the country in efforts aimed at harnessing water from rivers, floodwaters, as well as surface runoffs. amount of water produced in Dakaini, for example, is 526 million litres per day. But what ends up in Nairobi is 420 million litres per day. We lose 120 million litres of water per day. That is a river. And we cannot explain where it goes, either through cheating, uh, stealing, or leakages. So I'm appealing to all those water utilities whom we hand over these projects to rise up and ensure that we minimize that loss.